Just before we dive into this video, friends, I would absolutely love it if you could leave a comment down below letting me know what you ate yesterday. So for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, because I honestly would love to know what you guys also eat in a day because that kind of stuff really interests me. Um, and it also might give me some ideas of some meals or some snacks or some foods that I haven't quite yet tried. Um, so please do that, I would be super grateful. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? I've only said a few words. Oh. Sugar, you get so Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel or should I say good morning my beautiful friend and welcome back to my channel. Friends we have merch! We have merch! Yeah! So this is the little update slash announcement um, I wanted to let you guys know about. You guys are always telling me how much you love my intro and that it always makes you guys smile. So I really wanted to bring my intro to life and I thought a mug was like the perfect idea for that because most of us would have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee first thing in the morning. Um, so I just thought it was a really nice idea because it's actually something we can use and get really good use out of. And I wanted to keep the colours super gender neutral so anybody could purchase one if they wanted to. I thought like the black, the white and the red was like super classy and I just thought it was real cute. I'm not going to keep you guys here too long on this but your support would mean the whole world to me with this. I will leave the link for these mugs if you do want to purchase one down in the description box and I would be so 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 grateful and if you do buy one please send me a screenshot on Instagram or Twitter because I want to personally thank you myself because your support with this would mean everything to me. Um, so yeah and this is only possible because of you guys, because of your endless love, your endless support, your endless kindness, just your constant encouragement and oh like honest to god I know I say this a lot but I genuinely mean it from the bottom of my heart I'm so grateful for you guys and I can't say that enough like I'm so so grateful 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 goddamn grateful for you guys just thank you thank you for believing in me thank you for supporting me no matter what and just thank you for this amazing little platform we have created because you know I YouTube was always something I wanted to do but I never thought I was capable of it and I never thought I would anybody would watch me yeah I never thought anyone would watch me, let's just get to the point. Let alone how many of you guys do support and watch me on a day to day basis and oh okay I'm just going to shut up now but thank you. If you do want to support this little beautiful baby link is in the description box and link will always be in my description box now going forward for these cutesy little molds. This is an angle you've never seen me from before. One of the reasons I really want to start this little series is because I wanted to show you guys what a normal gal eats on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm sorry but I'm so sick of seeing all these diets on Instagram and YouTube and they're just not attainable for most of us normal human beings. Like it's just not how we eat. Like I'm sorry but honey bunny no. Avocado baby no. Mushroom baby no. <laughs> If you saw my last video, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys, you know, keep it real with you guys. Show you what I genuinely do eat on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, I don't restrict myself. I'm not extremely strict. You know, I do indulge in the things I like most days. But, you know, that's fine. And a lot of people do. So now let's get to the reason you clicked on the video, shall we? And get to the food. So the first thing I did for my breakfast was I made myself a little fruit bowl. So my fruit bowl consisted of a punnet of strawberries, a banana, and some black grapes so I proceeded to cut up my banana I then went on and picked out some grapes from the punnet and then I went ahead and chopped up my strawberries and threw them all in the bowl and then I went ahead and washed the strawberries and the grapes I didn't wash the banana I originally put the banana in the bowl and I was like we need to take that banana out of there because that is not going to be very nice if it gets water on it and then I went ahead and got myself two slices of bread so this is actually sourdough bread and this is actually from a local bakery that I live near and this sourdough bread is divine like I cannot recommend it enough fresh sourdough bread is amazing like this bread has no comparison to like sourdough breads you'd buy in Tesco or Aldi because the breads you'd kind of buy in Tesco and Aldi I just feel like there's more processedness processedness in them whereas this bread is super fresh so then I made myself some scrambled egg scrambled egg is honestly one of my favorite breakfasts to have it's so filling it's so tasty and there's a lot of nutrition in it so yes I adore me some scrambled eggs but I just whisk 
two eggs in a bowl um, until they were quite fluffy and then I added some salt in and then I just popped them in the pan once they are then ready I always take them off when they're like still a little bit kind of moisty because if you leave the pan on too long they'll dry up super quickly and dry eggs just aren't very nice and um, so yeah I popped them on my two bits of toast then and then I covered my toast in ketchup because that's what you're gonna do if you know how to eat scrambled eggs the right way mm -hmm. and honest to god this was quite a big breakfast for me um, and it kept me full for hours like this is a breakfast I would highly recommend if you kind of don't get to eat again for a good few hours because I was so 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 full until lunchtime which is amazing because I kind of love when I don't really have to worry about you know eating again super soon after my breakfast because you can just kind of get on with your day Aww. Oh, friend, I love you. Come back. <laughs> Look at a little friend. So then moving on to lunch. So for my lunch this day, I actually made some red lentil pasta. I am obsessed. Like red lentil pasta is genuinely one of my favorite things to eat. Like I am not joking you. If you look in my cupboard, like my press in my kitchen any day of the week, there is always at least six bags of this red lentil pasta. It is amazing. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend. It's um, gluten-free and it's also super duper duper high in protein and um, so as you can see here um how high in protein it is is like 12 grams of protein per 100 gram and 20 grams per 170 grams of pasta which is amazing because pasta doesn't normally have any protein in it pasta isn't normally very nutritional at all and this pasta actually has a lot of fiber in it too which is just amazing it tastes so good like it's literally just made from red lentils like that is the only ingredient of this pasta so i mean health gains <laughs> so i actually had this meal after i did a work workout on this particular day and um, you know I find this a great meal after a workout as well because it is quite high in protein and it's very filling so I just popped that into my pot I poured some boiling water on over my pasta and I added a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there you know it's not just great for shaving it's also great for making that red lentil pasta so I mean our extra virgin olive oil is multifunctional you can't be going wrong there can you <laughs> then i went ahead and i cut up some cucumber i absolutely adore adding cucumber in with this pasta i just feel like they really complement each other very well um and then i added in this stirring sauce which is actually from aldi and it's a sun-dried tomato stirring so it's basically the exact same thing as don mio sauce i think is what you call it um and it's the exact same but it's actually nicer like i am not even kidding you i was eating the don mio one for months and months and months with this pasta and then i actually picked up the aldi one and i was like oh my god first of all it's cheaper like a good bit cheaper and second of all it actually tastes even nicer so just a little um tip you know if you want to save your coin i then had a little snack and i actually had one of these yogurts and i would highly recommend if you are lactose intolerant like your girl jesse over here but you get them in tesco and they're free from milk gluten and wheat um and they're actually made soya like they're soya based yogurt but these are so scrumptious like do you know what they taste like i am not joking you when i say this oh my god there's a hair on the lens i'm not even joking you them yogurts literally taste like petty falous do you remember petty falous you used to eat when you were a little kid and how good they used to be they honestly taste the exact same they're amazing um and then i also had two squares of the lint sea salt dark chocolate this is the nicest dark chocolate you will ever eat if you have never had this you need to go and buy it now because it is amazing the sea salt is just so good like i never thought i would have liked something like this when i first had it i genuinely thought i was eating milk chocolate it's that tasty so i'd highly recommend if you're also a chocolate lover because i genuinely have chocolate every single day without fail because i just love it that much and then i also had two little oranges along with that i actually ended up having my dinner quite quite late so I just had another snack to hold me over and keep me going until my dindins was ready but I actually got some new protein powder so I really wanted to try it out so I actually got the soy pro isolate protein so it's a soy based protein so again any of my lactose intolerant gals um, and it's actually in the flavor hazelnut and I just added a banana in with that and um, because I felt like banana and hazelnut like them two flavors would really complement each other and it was delish like oh it was so 
so so so so so yummy i would highly recommend protein powder if you are quite like me and you can struggle to get your protein in in a day especially if you're working out or whatever it may be um you know protein powders are a great way to supplement you know you kind of not reaching the protein levels you want to hit in a day and lady will you stop licking my laptop my dog has started doing this really weird thing where she'll just keep licking my laptop and i don't understand it like i'm like what are you doing like it's not even edible then for my dinner which i had a little while later i actually had some homemade sweet and sour chicken with whole grain rice and i adore this meal this is one of my favorite things to get in the chinese oh my god and sweet chili chicken like i high key want a chinese right now like oh god i'm so tempted but uh yeah my mum makes this from time to time i can actually make it too but on this particular day she made it so that's why there's no clips of me cooking up a storm in the kitchen i know that's what you are waiting to see and um, but not today and we actually use the asia speciality sweet and sour sauce that you can get in aldi um so it's just like comes in a little packet and it's super cheap um and it is very yummy i would highly recommend if you are also a lover of sweet and sour chicken then i headed to bed and I cuddled up and watched some Netflix and every single night like I'm a brat at night like a night time is my weakness like I could eat so well during the day or like you know well in my book I know like it's not well compared to most people but I could eat so well and then it gets to night time and I'm just like kind of not doing that and then I'm just like mm, crisps mm, chocolate mm, sweets mm, all the shit food in the world get in my belly right now so these crisps are actually from Aldi and they are the best thing you will ever eat if you are a lover of sweet chili like your girl Jessie over here but they're just lentil curls and they're thai sweet chili flavor and they are so 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 yummy and um, so yeah you can get them in aldi but what is it with me and my lentils like lentil pasta lentil crisps <laughs> lentil protein powder you'll be seeing next lentil eggs so friends that was my realistic what i ate in a day don't forget to leave what you ate yesterday down below and um, so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed i cannot wait to see you all in my next video and i love you all so 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 very much Mwah. bye bye friends